Hey, what's up, Dave? So, Section 333 here. How you doing? Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm smoking the Nero. Uh, I think it's called the squash tomato. Well, it's not really squash. Really. It's kind of just a tomato. Um, and I'm smoking uh, GLP's Meridian in that. And... Uh, I have come to the conclusion that a lot of the GLP's blends that I smoke are going to replace the McClellan blends that I used to smoke. Um, before I had two favorite brands, it was McClellan and, G and uh, Dunhill. And then now McClellan's gone, Dunhill's pretty much gone. I don't believe Durbar is available anymore. I think I bought up most of it. But I probably have enough of both to last me a good long while. So. I plan to smoke those for, till they're gone. Um, I don't plan on selling any, in all honesty. No, yeah, I don't plan on selling any, in all honesty, and uh, I will enjoy those, and, um, but GLP's has been a, I've liked several blends by him, uh, Meridian included, uh, as well as Quiet Nights and Gaslight, uh, they're actually three of my favorite blends, um, so I'm looking forward to continuing to build on those. I found I like the Dan Tobacco stuff, but that stuff is hard to get to. At least the blends I enjoy by them. And there's a lot of aromatics available from Dan Tobacco. Although I have had great success with the one aromatic that I've tried from them, which is the 250, the London Blend 250. And, uh, so I am tempted to try some of their other aromatic style blends or blends with toppings. Or, um, although London Blend 250 is not billed as an aromatic, it does come with a plum flavoring. So I would look to try some of those other blends at some point. And I think that's what I'm going to wind up doing, is trying some of those other blends, uh, particularly uh, within the GLP's frame. And I'm going to try some of those Dunhills, uh, not Dunhills, Dan Tobaccos as well, particularly the Dan Tobaccos that have... Uh, Latakia, and I, like I said, I'm probably going to try some more of their flavored stuff as well, because it doesn't seem to be anything overwhelming or overpowering. You mostly taste the tobacco, and the plum hint in the one that I tried was actually a nice accompaniment to the uh, Latakia that was in that blend. So, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try those as well. And
So, I think GLPs, as far as blends go, has one of the largest varieties of blends. And I think they have, um, I think there's a high level of quality and a high level of uh, care goes into making each one of his blends. Um, so I would be more inclined to continue down that road with him. probably purchase more of his blends and they might be the crux of some of my reviews for a little while probably going to do some GL blend, GLP's blends uh, I'll review some of those for a while and uh, primarily because uh, I am going to smoke the McClellan stuff that I have and there's some McClellan blends that I have not done any reviews on or anything like that I'm definitely going to review those um but I want to review stuff people can get, and you can't get the McClellan stuff unless you're paying eBay prices for it. And uh, I guess I'm also gonna. I really need to crack open some of that Margate that I have. I have a lot of Margate, uh, several pounds of it, in fact. Um, so, and I, I have smoked a tin of it, and I've always enjoyed it when I smoked it. So, I think I will do a review on Margate as well. And, um, I'm still getting my basement in order, stuff like that. Today is actually the first warm day, and it's funny, too, because the other day I did a video, I think I posted it yesterday, actually, it was so cold out, and I'm really looking forward to getting to the warmer weather, uh, hopefully opening my pool, and uh, just being able to come out and barbecue and cook outside, spend some time outside. It's so beautiful out on a day like today, blue skies out here. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things, if you ever get the chance to, and I recommend everybody do this, see all 50 states. The only state I, I believe that I have not seen is Hawaii at this point. And uh, not that I'm not interested in seeing Hawaii, it was just lower on my list than every other state. But I recommend everybody, at some point, you see all 50 states in this nation. This is the most incredible nation uh, in the world. You know, um, you know, we get the four seasons in this nation in just about every state. Um, some seasons are shorter than others in, in some states, but, you know, one of the things that I do enjoy about New York and Long Island where I live is uh, we do get all four seasons. We have a beautiful summer weather and beautiful summer season. We have nice beaches. Um, there's trails. If you want to go to the mountains, you can drive upstate a few hours and you can, you can hike. It's probably part of the appeal of a California. You can ski and, and uh, surf within the same day in California. Um, I believe that's the only state where that's feasible in this country. Um, but that being said, uh, every state has something to offer, and if you're just willing to look around for it, it's, uh, some states have better food than other states. Um, I find the food in the South is very good, uh, and it can get just as sophisticated as the food up here in the, in the northern regions of the United States. And we're, New York is a mid-Atlantic state, uh, but the food is, can be sophisticated here, but it can be, it's even better in the South, I find, and it's just as sophisticated at times. Um, 
and then sometimes it's nice and simple, which is also nice too, you know. Um, I enjoy, uh, obviously I enjoy food, look at the size of me. Um, you know, but everything in moderation, right guys? Smoking, eating, whatever it is, you try to do it in moderation. Um, but all 50 states, actually, I've been to 49 of the 50 states in this nation, and I've not, there hasn't been one that I didn't enjoy, you know? I mean, granted, when I go, when I went to a lot of these states, it was for enjoyment. I've driven cross country three times. And, uh, and, and you do those things for a reason. Um, I wanted to see. I wanted to see the United States. And it is a beautiful nation. Um, you know, it is about uh, being adventurous and stepping outside of your comfort zone sometimes. And uh, because that's how we grow as people. We step outside that comfort zone. And... Yeah, stepping outside of your comfort zone is always a good thing because it challenges you. And 99% of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, people rise to the challenge. And this way you don't sell yourself short and do a disservice to yourself. Uh, if, you, if you never try and fail, you're never going to succeed. Um, everyone's ready to try and succeed. Nobody's ready to try and fail. And you should have the goal of succeeding in mind. But, like I said, everybody's ready to try and succeed and, and, and get the pat on the back. But it's when you try, you fail, you get criticized for it, and then you come back. And succeed. That's what. That can define you better than any other aspect in your life. Um, it, it's a powerful thing because you made the comeback. Um, but then the thing is, too, is you don't get complacent. You take it to the next level. You try to take success to the next level. You, um, and one of the new things they do in business now is you rate your managers, or rate your leadership team. And three tiers, three being the worst, one being the best. And I've been part of a tier three management team and, or leadership team. And I've been part of a tier one manage, or leadership team. And I've been on a tier two leadership team. Uh, and it was nice to go from three to one because we put a lot of work in as a, as a leadership team. We put a ton of work in to get to that level. And the mark of a good leader is can they can they run it without you? Do they know what to do? Have you empowered your staff to make decisions? And do they feel comfortable as leaders themselves? So like I said, you always step out of your comfort zone. It's it's not a it's not a when, it's not an if, it's a we have to. And that's why I say, you can go visit all 50 states. It's Long Island, like I said, it's gorgeous. It has all these things to offer outdoors. Um, I love being outdoors. Um, probably my dream job. Um, possibly medical rescue, mountaineering rescue, would probably be my dream job. Uh, and... We just don't have it here. <laughs> um, and, you know, but then you also get into 
life happens and all of that jazz. So uh, you find other challenges for yourself, you know. Um, our children are based here, so it's not like I'm just going to up and root, re root my wife. But you, you, know, you visit the other states and you see them. Like I said, I, I got in a car and drove. I don't do the fancy thing where you jump in the planes and fly all over the place, you know. You know, I got friends that do that, kids that do that, you know. Ah, give me a car, give me my dog, and, uh, and, and just let me drive. And, and to me, that's more enjoyable than uh, anything else. Oh, and that, bring, that brings the next uh, question then, too. Everybody's like, well, what'd you drive cross-country in? Uh, um, I think once I went with my cousin, we went in his Thunderbird. I took my pickup truck. And then another year, that was the year I went by myself. And then one year, um, my uh, cousin and I, we rented a car and drove cross country with it. And uh, and that was interesting too. Um, all fun trips. But... Uh, Well, the best was when I went by myself. Not gonna lie, I thought, yeah, I love my cousins. Don't get me wrong. But being able to, you know, you're only beholden. It was just me and my dog. went where you wanted to go, did what you wanted to do, and there's, there's a reason people like liberty. <laughs> but um, I highly recommend that at some point you visit, you know, make a decision to visit the southern states or make a decision to visit all the states on the east coast. Um, or make a decision to drive out west and visit one of the national parks and uh, spend some time outdoors. Uh, but then, you know, and it's not for everybody, too, you know, so visit one of the cities if that's what it is, you know, and it's so surprising how different each city is in this country, but how similar the people are. And, and there are differences in the people, too. Uh, but there's a lot of similarities in, in the people in, uh, throughout this country. And uh, I, I say get out there and check it out, you know? I don't think you would regret it. Like I said, whether your thing is outdoors or whether your thing is seeing culture and seeing the cities and the libraries and the museums and checking out the history of a place, I, I think there's something for everyone. Um, state to state, really, I really do. And uh, that's why I think people should do it, you know? Get to know your neighbors, your countrymen, right? You know, we're all Americans here. You know, and some of us aren't Americans. You know? And, you know, if you're watching this, and I don't know how many people who watch this channel uh, are from other countries or from outside of the country. I know there's a few people from, I want to say, Germany. And I want to say Denmark. And I would eagerly invite you to come to this country and visit and take in some of the beauty of this nation as well. Um, as, as I'm sure you have explored the beauty of the nations that you're already in. Um, that's the other thing too. It's actually a very beautiful world we live in, ultimately. Uh, and you'd be surprised where you can find beauty in this world. Um, whether it's the beaches of Thailand or Fiji or uh, even Goa, India, and northern India, the beautiful beaches in Goa. Um, going to Israel to see the beautiful beaches there. A lot of people don't realize the beaches in Israel are absolutely stunning. Uh, 
it's a beautiful world. It really is. And uh, sometimes you just, if you get the opportunity to take part of it in, you do. It enriches you as a person and it enriches uh, the people around you. And if you're cool, like 99.9999% of the YouTube pipe community, it will certainly enrich the lives of the people you visit and come across because we do nothing but spread cheer and pipes. So, that being said, thank you all. Uh, we have reached 400 subscribers, so the next video will be the um, video uh, announcing what the giveaway will be. Uh, keep on the lookout for more uh, Meridian uh, reviews. And... Um, Not Meridian. GLP's reviews. GLP's reviews. Be on the lookout for those. And uh, I think we should have some cool things coming up in the channel shortly. All right. And uh, definitely the giveaway. Uh, I think I've narrowed it down to what I'd like to do. And uh, I think everyone's going to like it. And uh, I got a few suggestions from some of the subscribers. And uh, you got to give the people what they want, right? <laughs> Um, thank you all very much for getting to this 400 um, milestone as well. Uh, and I'm just glad people want to come in and, and share the day with me, you know, or share the 20 minutes with me, 25 minutes. I really appreciate it. I know people are busy and you take the time out of your uh, lives to, to view a video. And I truly appreciate that. Thank you all very much. And like I said, uh, I'll put out uh, the next video. Uh, next week will be a... Uh, 400 subscriber giveaway video and uh, it'll have the rules of the contest in there all right section 333 signing out enjoy your day please thank you